G'day mates, just popping up real quick before starting off this video proper. Uh, first off, the whole uh, drama about the new terms and conditions that YouTube will be releasing at, uh, at the 10th of December. The thing about uh, no longer commercially viable, I don't believe uh, a word of it. I think it's just going to be something that you don't need to worry. It's just if, uh, in my opinion, it's going to be something like if maybe uh, for some reason or another your uh, presence on YouTube might become commercially detrimental uh, to YouTube, then they might want to get rid of you then. But other than that, I don't think it's anything to w worry about. While I would like to see some clarification from YouTube themselves, and I have actually been trying to send messages them to, to them, trying to find out more about this. Might have said in vain. Um, nonetheless, I don't think there's anything to worry about. I just wanted to throw that out there. Anyway, hope you enjoy the last episode of Five Nights at Freddy's VR. See you soon. Okay. Okay. Quick draw. I'm listening here. Listening for shuffling and movement. Okay, I don't know where he went. off to the right. I did it! What have we got here? Ah, it's Mangle. How is it the kids do... How is it the kids can do this much damage? <laughs> Mangle's got too many limbs, so I don't even know how he could... Uh, get in that state. <sighs> Using proprietary technology developed by Fazbear Entertainment, our VR development teams were able to use vintage control boards almost like plug and play, digitally recreating performances and personalities from the past in an instant. Okay, what does this do? Nothing much. Okay, here we go. Let's go for... <laughs> I don't know what the showtime button does, uh, is, or at least is supposed to do. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Repair Bonnie. Grab and release. Press T button. Push buttons and make the repairs. And try not to kill yourself. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. Okay. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Great job. That's out. Deposit the... Okay, I was supposed to put that in a specific place? What? <laughs> now hiring you, quite within. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> it did not like that. Welcome back to parts and service. Okay. Oh no. Let's try it looks again. Looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. 
First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Great job. Zap. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job. I to open to. Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. The yellow one's out. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Sounds much better. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate and we'll call it a day. That one. And that one. And then... How do I... I can't reach! Well done. That oh. concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> okay, so my first problem was I didn't wait for the instructions and I just dropped the eye like an idiot. It's a... This game is all about listening, you fucking cloth-eared muppet. Foxy Cove Cooler. I just ate the bottle. <laughs> How did I do that? Parts and service. Chica. This will be fun. This is fun, actually. You gotta... Because you're doing stuff. This is best done standing up, obviously. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Wow. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Yeah. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Okay. Wait, what's this? And there's a coin here. Okay. We got that. That's... Good job. Oh, yeah. Make sure it. Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. To open her beak, carefully press the two buttons located on the sides of Chica's head. Oh no, it looks like Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To clear <laughs> the infestation, apply the Fazbear Entertainment Restaurant Grade Chemi Spray to Chica's exterior. Press the button under the hanging canister to activate the Chemi Spray. Avoid inhaling the Chemi Spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. Okay. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Okay. In any order? Okay. That one... Now where's her cupcake plate? Well, that's her cupcake well plate. Well done. Oh no, it looks like Chica needs another dose of the Chemi Spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another put. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. What's a cupcake doing? What the fuck? Okay, I'm Please about to place die. the cupcake on the plate. Yeah, I would. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Gotcha. Great job. Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. <laughs> oh. Delicious. See you next time. 
Okay, I was uh, having alarm... Alarm bells were ringing about that Bonnie hand puppet that Markiplier was dealing with. Ooh, more sweets. Nump. A treasure trove of taste. Pirate plunder bar. Nump. Don't ask how I just walked right through the table, by the way. Now, I'm guessing these repairs are going to get even more complex as uh, time, uh, the deeper we get. I mean, yes, we're going through them quickly, but it's still kind of like a, you know, you got to think carefully about Welcome what you back do. to parts and service. Oh. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Well, without opening the face plates. You're joking. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Yeah. Give it another firm tug. Good job. Okay, I got now it. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. This while we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Well done. Okay. Freddy's chest cavity is oh. now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Okay. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Okay, wait. Too rough. Was being too rough that time. There isn't anything else stuck inside. Let's try to this again. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. I got it. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great okay. job. I know it's to that reset one, the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Wait, the button on his endoskeleton? Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Okay, wait for it to move. Okay. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Okay, they all look the same. Okay, okay. A replacement may be found on the okay. work table. A slow and even pace is a slow and even pace is recommended. Okay. Crisis averted. Okay, it's to in. close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. That concludes your time <laughs> in this new service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Yeah. I didn't even let go of the button. That was a scripted event, that was. Well, I got a faz, I got a faz bar. Okay then, let's do the last one, and then we've got. Oh man, Foxy, this will be fun. Grab and release T button. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same rules. Repair Foxy. Welcome back to parts and service. Oh my God. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. Got power First, cells. Carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. 
Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Okay. Wait. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Yeah, I can see Carefully, it now. Remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Uh, gotta try not to get... I got it. Well done. Got that the one. remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. Okay, I got a f Uh, no. That's the one for the chest. Take your time. We lost the power. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Now what? Okay, what am I supposed to do about that, hey? We got that one. We got this one. When they're different this time, actually. That one's in. Okay, yeah. So my problem before was... Okay, no. I was... Uh, drop... Like an idiot, I dropped it. Looks like a grenade. Good there job. Go. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, Place the eye back into his eye socket. No, no. Bingo. Okay, use my left hand for. Okay, wait for it. Well done. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. Finally! Okay, so my problem before was I dropped the fuse and that, uh, Foxy didn't like that. Meat bites. Nom. I keep having to move around because my, uh, VR's off axis at the moment, so... Because I've been in, in here for so long, so many hours now. We hope you're enjoying the Fazbear Virtual Experience. Please be aware that there may be visual artifacts left behind from the beta testing phase of development. If you see any such artifacts, we recommend that you not interact with them. We'll weed them out eventually. There's no guarantee that we'll weed them out eventually. <laughs> Let's try the spooky mode, Bonnie, because uh, that's what I'm going to call it, spooky mode. Let's see if it's actually anything different. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. Okay. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible. Great job. The eyes are Deposit yeah. the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. On, on yeah, no, this it is this one. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's... Deposit the right eye. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on... Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter... It's that one. Something is not... Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Much better. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate, and we'll call it a day. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. So it's just See the same as time. before, just with a different lighting. Oh, there was a coin there. I should have grabbed the coin. Okay. 
Well, whatever. So this is a stick of butter. Exotic butters. Exotic butters. It's main material, that's what it is. It looks like you're making great progress. And more importantly, you're staying in your lane and sticking to the script, which is exactly what our risk assessment team was hoping you'd do. Please continue to enjoy the Fazbear virtual experience. Now, we'll do event repair in a moment, but uh, first things first, I want to check out what happens at the prize counter. coins do I have? And okay, what do we got here? Okay, I just ate that. <laughs> Alright. We got a couple of little things here. And I guess collecting the coins unlocks things. Okay. Alright, let's do the vent repair. I don't know what, what's involved with that. Make repairs. Okay. Like before, I'm going to be told what to do. Oh man, this is claustrophobic. Nothing seems to be able to do here except to- Welcome to Vent Repair. Fazbear Entertainment prides itself on having the most comfortable facilities. Each facility is set to a perfect 72 degrees all the time. The four active indicator lights mean we have a well-functioning ventilation system. Your headlamp should protect you from any critters who may have stumbled into the ducts. As a certified vent technician, you should need no instruction. However, in case of an emergency, it is important to remember that as the vent technician, you should never, under any circumstances, attempt to Well, that's convenient. Okay. Get away! Oh, man. That one's good. <laughs> ah. You gotta listen for the vent sounds. Let's try that again. Where am I? I I don't know why am I doing this. Let's try it again. Welcome to Vent Repair. Okay, that's Vent obviously a skip button. Get away. Okay, use the light to scare Mangle off if... Uh... Two lights. Stay away. Okay. Get away. Stay 
stay away. I'm busy here. Blue, red, green. Good sound. We're done. A perfect 72 degrees. Good job. See you next time. Yeah. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. Once we figured out how to do it the first time, we just used the headlamp to scare off anything that comes at me in the vents. Hmm. I mean, they, they did say that it, a lot of this is fictional, but is this really what they dealt, what the technicians dealt with? Who knows? Let's try the other one. We got entered this time. Oh, my goodness. I remember Anod. I never played FNAF, but I... I never played Sister Location, but I do know Anod. Okay, assess, assess, assess. Okay, well... <sighs> Welcome to Circus Babies Entertainment and Rental. Okay. It has been zero days since last incident. Emergency ventilation repairs may be necessary to reach the boiler room on sub-basement G. We apologize for the claustrophobic accommodations of the secondary service uh -oh. elevator, but the comfort of the main elevator is well above your pay grade. Now, let's get to work. Okay, here are the vents. Motion trigger. Breaker room. Okay. That was just the vent going thud, right? Okay. Press the... Buttons. Well done. Okay, next up. Very claustrophobic here. That one. That one. Man, I'm so freaking out. Well right done. Now. Okay, so we got some wires that don't lead anywhere. Oh, for fuck's sake, please don't. And I... Do I just gotta keep an eye on you? Shit, I don't know which one it is. Get away. Get away! Get away! Thank you. You're too close, mate. It's a staring contest here. Shh, I see you there. Come on! Fuck you. Get away. No, that was wrong. I don't know how forgiving it is, and that's the thing. It's just the worst part is just not knowing. Now, we're going to go back to the main menu because, uh, actually, no, I want to do that again. We're going back to the main menu, but I want to do it again, so let's do it again. Let's go again. Okay, here we go. That one. That one. 
Da. Well done. Okay. Don't fuck this up this time. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, it's that one. Now, I've forgotten which cable that one was. Well done. Yep. Fuck you, this vent's closing down. Going down even more though. I want to get out of here. Can we get out of here, please? Fuck you, baby. Okay, what? So there's going to be two phases of this? Is that what you're telling me? It's too dark down here. Wanna, don't like. Want to go home. Motion trigger. Secondary service elevator ventilation shaft. Yeah. Point. Those gears really don't look like they fit, but okay, where are the other gears? Okay, there's another one. Yep. Okay, so we're moving and move out, are we? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Nice going. So it's kind of like a little encoded thing, I guess. Oh man, I don't want to fail again. Fail now, because I don't want to have to do this again. And if I fail now, I probably won't do it again. I just want to get onto the hallways and finish up this thing because while I have been having fun I've been inside this machine for way too long I saw some big numbers there. Motion trigger, boiler room. Okay. Oh, and it's there. Okay, got to spin around the pipes. There's entered. Well done. There we go. That's hooked up. Shut that one up. Wish my headlamp was working. There you are. That's it. Oh, 
just one button now. Excellent, now I can see. Well what the done. A perfect 72 degrees. See you next time. Did we just kill Ennard? We heard a, we heard the animatronic screaming, very distant, a distant scream of the animatronic. Ex exotic beverage. I just ate the can. <laughs> okay, finally, we've got one more game to try, and that is, uh, Hallway, I believe. Night Terrors. Fun time versus Fun Time Freddy. Okay. Close doors, grab and release with T button. Flashlight press and hold move button. Teleport point press T button. Survive until 6 a.m. So this is Five Nights at Freddy's 4. So this is a wee fun. Okay, here we go. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, hello, again. hello fr fun time Freddy. No, I don't care about you. Yeah, get out. I know you're over there somewhere. Yeah. You are not going to go away? Alright. Let's have a staring contest then. <sighs> it's okay, he's still here. <laughs> oh, I looked away and then I heard the breathing and I didn't turn off the flashlight. I didn't turn the torch off. Let's try it again, yes? Okay, listen. Hello, Bonnie Hand Puppet. Okay. <laughs> well, hello, again. hello again? We haven't even seen each other before. <laughs> he goes away. puppet okay I have no idea but I didn't do anything and I didn't hear the thing I didn't hear you do anything you didn't breathe I didn't do anything I didn't even do anything
fuck's sake. Oh, shut up. Breathing. <laughs> Remember Jeremy? Yes, he was the he was the victim of of the bite of eighty seven, wasn't he? No. Yes, he was. Shut up. Get out. Why you gotta scream at me like that? Oh shit. Shit, door, 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 door. Okay, what the hell? I wasn't seeing anything. Oh dear, okay. Alright. I was able to do this at a friend's house once before. I can't do it now though for some reason. I don't know why it's so hard. So I can use my right hand to close doors. <laughs> oh, fuck I think we're just in an endless cycle. Get out. No, you don't see me. Okay. <sighs> I got you. I had the door closed! Alright then. I guess I'm gonna leave it for today, for now, mates. I think we've had a pretty good go at this game. Um, we've seen a lot of what there is to see. Uh, I don't think there's much more that needs to be done at this point. You just explore. Well, let's see what that last prize I unlocked the prize counter is. It is. That's not what I picked. It's just a plastic cup. Piece of shit. Alright then, well mates, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, very special series uh, for Halloween themed and Five Nights at Freddy's VR. And it's quite an intriguing experience. Uh, one, some of it's, it definitely seems to have been watered down. Like I've seen the stuff that uh, Markiplier's gone through in the in the original uh, games, and I've uh, I don't really know what is. In, I don't really know of the logic behind the games uh, t too much, other than 
uh, all of these this is what you need to do and there are these little tricks here and there I don't know them all though there are some things I don't know that being said it's quite fun that we now have the Five Nights V and Freddy's VR that we all a lot of many of us were asking for this back when uh, the series was first conceived and now we've actually got it and that's pretty amazing and the fact that we've got it right here in the hands it's a very fun game you can love it or hate it but for me personally I love it I love uh, especially FNAF uh, I don't know I'm tossing up between FNAF 3 or the parts and service I wish there was more of the parts and service uh, Foxy's was definitely unsettling because he just like started doing the movement and I was like, oh! So yeah, uh, we did lose audio j for a minute there. Um, I wish that thing was would go away, but it's just an, one of the so-called glitches, I think. Anyway, mates. I hope you enjoyed this series, as always, leave a like and a comment if you did, don't forget to boot me on the snoot and ring the bell to learn when all my new videos are coming out, and I will see you next time. Bye for now!